wonderful, fabulous friends, and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to have you here today with me, and I'm so excited for today because we're going to do some rehousings into some new tarantula cribs. There's some brand new enclosures that just came out, and so I'm so excited to have them. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful for tarantula cribs. They're the first company that like took a chance on me, so I really appreciate them, and um yeah they sent a bunch of enclosures over and i'm really excited because one of the enclosures that they sent is the thing that i have been asking them for i have been asking for it and it has been delivered and that is hang on sorry i'm not prepared an extra large crib i'm so excited because i love the tarantula cribs i love all of them but I wanted something bigger and now we have something bigger. Ah, I'm so excited. We also have these super cute little house ones. Look at that. It's a little house. And then we have these magnetic ones that actually come in half. So you could definitely, they're perfect for arboreal, but you could definitely use them for terrestrial as well. They're just, it's so cool how they just, is that cool? And then there's also one that has a little house top. Ah, how cute is that? And then there's also these little mini ones. This one I had to emergency set up because my green link spider, which is right here, that I opened in one of my most recent unboxings, needed a house ASAP. So he's in this little one and this one magnetizes like that. So here is the smallest crib, and in it is the green link spider, which is right here. It comes from Bugs in Cyberspace, and so this is what it looks like. It magnetizes from the front, it's like this. Easy access, easy to open and close. Super cute, perfect for this little spider, perfect for like a jumping spider baby or some kind of arboreal or even a terrestrial um, but you could kind of like layer the substrate so it goes up higher in the back and lower in the front since it opens in the front like that um, but yeah super cute oh my gosh it's adorable but how cute it's a little house oh my god i'm so obsessed with this i love anything small and cute and i'm just I just am stupidly excited for all of this. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into the enclosures and do some rehousing. So the first one I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this super cute little house arboreal enclosure. Opens like that. It's a nice sound. I like it. Anyways, in this enclosure, we are going to be putting a snowflake. She's a new spider. She is some kind of unknown jumping spider that I bought off eBay, like, randomly. I just saw the picture and she looked super cute. And she's some kind of jumping spider. Right here. Oh, also I got my fingers tattooed, what do you think? Um, but, yeah, so she's gonna go in here. So let's go ahead and get her enclosure ready. I think I'm just gonna stay like this and we'll just do it like that is that cool with you just to make it a little easier so i'm going to go ahead and put in some substrate the good thing about jumping spiders is that they don't need a lot of substrate so we're going to go ahead and set her up like that with a little bit and then i'm going to put in some little flowers i have this little unicorn from my other unboxing And I think I want to put some of these. Look how cute! So cute! Um, okay, let's put her in. So she's in this weird little thing. She's right here. She's so cute. Yeah, I named her Snowflake. Snowflake. 
She's in. Next up here is the um, arboreal little house enclosure. It magnetizes like that. Snowflake is in here. If anyone can identify what type of jumping spider she is, let me know. She's really cute, but I have no idea what type of jumping spider she is, but she's really cute. Okay, you stay in. But yeah, here's her crib. Perfect size for her. She has plenty of space. Oh, she just jumped. She has plenty of space to jump around and explore, and it's just overall a really nice enclosure. So she's here in the front, and this is just gonna give her so much space to jump around, and like, it's so cute, and I just love this so much. Oh my God, I'm so happy. It's so cute, so cute. Okay, next we're gonna use this one. Ah, oh, how cool, I love the little house ones. They are just so adorable, and it just opens up like that. And in here, I'm be putting this spider. I don't know what it is, but I rescued it from someone that was going to kill it. And so I was like, I will take it. So I took it and he is some kind of cool looking spider and it's going to live in this. So let's go ahead with some substrate. this little dinosaur skull. Cute. I'm going to add some of these fake plants. And in here, I'm going to put Mystery Spider. So that's what it looks like. If anyone can identify this spider, let me know. Here is the larger house enclosure and it opens like this and the spider which is unidentified is down here if anyone can identify it again please let me know I'm thinking some type of like orb weaver or something um, it was just in someone's garden and they um, broke down its web and they were gonna kill it but I was like no don't kill it I'm gonna take it so it's in here for now, but we may return it back outside. Yeah, I love the little skull in there. It's so tiny. Beautiful! Oh, I'm so happy. It's so nice. And this spider is pretty freaking cool. I'm excited to see what it does. Cool. And then for the big finale, Fleur, can you not? The extra large crib. I'm so excited for this one. This is what I have wanted. I've been asking for an extra large crib, a bigger enclosure, and I'm so happy that they finally have it out. Let's see. Here it is in all of its glory. Let's open it up. Here it is. Oh 
my god it is beautiful it is everything that i hoped for look how much room you have for substrate i'm very pleased i'm so happy let's go ahead and get this all ready oh my god i'm so excited let's get this enclosure ready for our little friends Okay, so here we have our crib, and I'm just mixing up the substrate. It's a combination of reptile soil and organic potting soil. No chemicals or anything in it. And the reason that I mixed it with potting soil this time is because we're gonna try and put a plant in there. It might not go well, but you know what? We gotta try. So what I wanna do, I wanted to put this big, hide. oh, it fits. That's fabulous. So I wanna put this hide here. And then I wanna take the plant, oop, which is this pothos here, and I wanna put it in the corner. And then I have this cute little skull. And I'm gonna put some moss. This is stunning. Like, I'm so happy. Oh my God, this is beautiful. I'm so happy, this is amazing. Let's get a tarantula in here. I decided I'm gonna put turkey leg. Turkey leg is a phonopelma Uetalum, Uetalum, <laughs> um, and she's beautiful, and her name is Turkey Leg because I got her from my friend Nate at Micro Wilderness at the Renaissance Fair, and they serve turkey legs there, and it just seemed like Turkey Leg was the best name for her. So I went ahead and named her Turkey Leg, and she's going to go in this enclosure and enjoy it. Here's a better look at Turkey Leg. Here is the star of the show, the 12 by 12 by 12 crib. You can see by my hand how big it is. It's so beautiful. It opens up like this. So this is the top view of the enclosure. Turkey leg went in the hide, so we're not gonna disturb her. But how cool is this? Oh my gosh, it's amazing. I'm so happy with this. Like, I'm so happy, I'm so happy. I've said it a million times and I'll say it again. I'm so happy with all of these enclosures. The little house ones are so adorable with the little pointed top. I really love the details and I love the 12 by 12 cube. It's just so much nice space and it's just such an amazing visual. Like it just looks so good like a display piece. And that's what I love is when you can kind of like display these animals and just really enjoy them is what it's all about for me. So I'm so happy with these enclosures. I think they're amazing. Remember to use my code VENOMOUS10 if you make any purchases from Tarantula Cribs. VENOMOUS10 will save you 10% on your purchase and it also gives me a little kickback, a little something something, um, which I really appreciate. And I appreciate all of you that have bought cribs with my code. It's so amazing. Like I'm so surprised that people do. It makes me so happy. And anyways, I really, really, really hope you enjoy it. I'll let you get back to your day. But thank you so much for taking some time to hang out with me. I really, really appreciate it. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And check out a couple of my other videos if you feel like helping boost me up in the algorithm. Thank you so much. You're amazing. You're wonderful. Tarantula Cribs, Venomous 10. Thank you so much. And we'll see you in the next video.